Hello everyone, welcome back to Mohana Astrology, Rajshri here. Today's video is about Libra, Moon Signs and Ascendants and how the month of July is going to unfold for you. So before I start off with the predictions, I would like to request to all of you to subscribe to my channel and thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to my channel and stay subscribed. That helps me a lot, encourages me a lot. It's a, it's a journey that I can only carry on if you all are with me. Let me now begin with the predictions for Libra Moon Signs and Ascendants. Now Libra people have been going through a lot of pressure for a long time now. July is going to change things for you. There is silver lining that had started from June itself and in July you are going to see even better results. Now why am I saying so? It is because your house of gains, your house of income, your uh, wish fulfillment, your ambition fulfillment is highly active in July. Saturn and Jupiter both are activating it and now so many other planets including your own sign lord is coming to the 11th house, house of gains for you. And that's an excellent news. 11th house is the house of materialistic growth and all planets, be it good, bad, ugly, whatever it is, all planets are good in 11th house. So expect that some big time change, big time gains or a promotion that was not happening so long in work and your ambitions that were not getting fulfilled so long will now get fulfilled. All these materialistic growths and materialistic uh, achievements are coming your way now. Now, before you go way too overboard, check your dashas first. Check if the same is being promised in your own dashas. And if so, it's the bonanza time for you. Your sign lord Venus is placed in your 10th house in the first week of July. And then Venus will move to the house of gains and gets retrograde there as well on 23rd of July. Now there Venus comes under Jupiter's and Saturn's joint aspect and gets company of Mars and Mercury. All these put together indicates something really big for you. So when we come to the results, where will it be good for you and where will it be not so good? It's excellent for money, name, fame, professional success and wish fulfillment, particularly till 23rd of July. However, it is not that good for your health. Your health needs care in July. However, remember that Jupiter is also aspecting your 11th house and your sign Lord Venus as well. So, although the troubles will come, particularly when uh, your sign Lord Venus goes retrograde on 23rd of July. Some health issues may pop up, but there is nothing to worry. Jupiter's aspect is going to protect you. Jupiter's aspect is, is going to ensure that nothing goes wrong there. Sun coming to your 10th house on 17th July also shows professional progress, increase in your social status. But Sun here is in the sign of Cancer, so expect some ups and downs as well. Somehow the spotlight will fall on you in July. Mercury is very well placed for you in July. And this position of Mercury is also indicating that there will be professional progress for you. There will be achievements for you. And you know what? New avenues for uh, you know, for jobs, for professional growth, for income are going to open up for you as well. Isn't that wonderful? If you are employed, time is good. 
If you are planning to change your job, July is a good month for that and this job change will uh, bring you a better job indeed. Possibility of a transfer with better perks or a promotion, that's also being indicated in July. If you are in business, you will gain. Regarding investments in shares and stocks, if you have any, you can expect good results in July. But at the same time, you need to remain careful after 23rd because there the, the significator of wealth, significator of money, Venus is going to get retrograde. If your work has connections with foreign countries, foreign companies, hospitals, rehabs, or even spiritual retreats, spiritual purposes, you will gain in July. If this connection is not there, there may be some financial loss. And the other possibility is that you will spend a lot of money on foreign travel. Strong chances of getting married is forming for eligible Libra people after the first week of July. But if you can avoid the time from 23rd onwards, when Venus goes retrograde, that will be really good. Because, you know, here you are tying the knot and getting married during the time when uh, the significator of relationship, Venus, is retrograde, is not really advisable. Secondly, it's also possible that even the marriage is fixed, the actual ceremony will get delayed because of Saturn's aspect. So, considering everything, Weigh your options, see if things are fine, go ahead before 23rd or else wait for some time and wait for better times. If you are married, you will see mixed results in your relationship. You will see some improvements and will spend some good moments with your spouse as well. However, remain again careful after 23rd June. Mars and retrograde Saturn are directly looking at each other in July. Your children's health can cause some concern or there may be differences with the children. If you are trying for a baby, the month of July can bring promises for that. If you are in a romantic relationship, try to avoid all kinds of misunderstandings and conflicts in July. Now, for you, the dates 18th to 23rd July will be very promising in the matters of profession, in the matters of job, promotion and money. Then remain careful of marital disharmony and also health related matters between 10th July to 15th July. So that's all for Libra people for the month of July and how this month can unfold for you. If you like this video and feel that this video is giving some kind of guidance to you for the month ahead, do subscribe to my channel, like this video and share with others. Thank you so much for your encouragement and thank you so much for all the nice comments that you post. May God bless us all. I'll see you again with another video soon.